Hello, welcome to another video. It's time to hunt some nickels. We got a used box of nickels here. Used box. Circulated box. <laughs> um, yep, some of these have been used. So, <laughs> um, We've got a circulated box of nickels here, so we're going to hunt through these and see what we can find here. Hopefully there'll be some good stuff inside of these rolls, but let's get into them and find out what's inside. Intro, take... 473. Cue music. Cue coins. Yeah. All right. Awesome. Now pick them up. I'm not rich. We are on roll number four, and we got our first find of the hunt, a 1942. This one looks like it's a filly. Um, it was reverse facing and really dirty. And I flipped it over. I saw it was 1942. Um, pretty beat up, but still an old nickel and still going to count as a find. Made it to the end of roll number five. And this was the ender. It was a reverse facing. And I didn't look at it close enough to determine it was an old nickel to check out. Um, but when we got there, it was a 1959. This one is a Denver. Nice. Very cool, two finds in one roll. Very nice finds. Roll number five, and I've got another find here. We got a 1948. This one is a Denver. Cool. It's our third find so far. Roll number six, and we got a rear facing mint mark here. This one has a little gunk on the reverse, but it is a Denver. Let's see what year it is. Ah, 1957. Nice, that is another find. Roll number seven kind of went everywhere when I thumped it out, but I think I see three nickels in here. Got one here, got one here, and got one here, I think. Um, there might be more, but that's all I can see here. So let's zoom in. Um, let's grab this one first. This is a 1941. 1941. Um, looks like Philly. There's some dirt there, but it doesn't look like there's anything there. Um, the next nickel, let's just move this and get it on camera, right here, 1939. This one is scratched up. Some looks like somebody took something and uh, scratched some lines all across that one. This one is a Philadelphia. Cool. It's an old nickel, 1939. And then right back here, let's move it over. I saw we had a 1957 sticking out. 1957 out of Denver. Nice, this one's got some scratches on it too. Nice, it's three nickels in this roll. Um, quick look, I don't see anything else that's standing out as old. So let me go through this and I'll bring you back if there's anything else or at the next find. 11, we got one that has an older look to it. So I figured let's flip this over and see if it is old or not. 1947 this one is a philadelphia nice nice there's another one over here that looks like it might be older let's take a quick look at that one too um that's all that stand and out here this one or this one that one is a 78 this one is a 57 nice out of denver very cool very cool two finds in one roll um nothing else is standing out as as older looking but uh oh wait this one is just i thought that was dirty it's a 1956 out of denver nice that's three of them in that roll very cool roll number 16 working my way through and i uh, pulled these down um right here we got a 1956 Nice, that is a Denver. Nice, nice. Gonna put that up here. Number 18, we got an old one right here. 1959, and there might be another one back here. The other one's reverse facing, so we're gonna find out. 1959, out of Philadelphia. Nice, I'm gonna move these over. This one here just has that older look to it. It is a Denver rear face mint mark, so it's at least a 64. And earlier, what year do we have? Ooh, 1941. 1941 out of Denver. Nice. Nice. That is two. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. Ten. Eleven. Twelve. Thirteen. Fourteen. Fifteen. Sixteen. Seventeen. Eighteen. Nineteen. Twenty.
finds in this roll. We are on to roll 23, and I've come across the 1940 here in the middle of my stack as we're going through. 1940, it looks like Philly. Yeah, I don't see a mint mark there. There's a little something there, but that just looks like a little nick or something. But, oop, that is a 1940 to go up here. Nice. Roll 25 for the 1953 here. 1953, no mint mark, so that is a Philadelphia. Nice, that's another nickel to go up here with the stacks. Well, 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 roll 26. And right here, let me move it over so it's on camera. Right here, poured out the roll and saw we have a great find. A fun surprise, we got a buffalo nickel. Um, the mint mark down to the bottom, I don't see one. So this is going to be Philadelphia. This one is kind of tore up. But let's see if there's a date. 1936. That one is rough. But it does have a date. And it is a buffalo. It's always nice to see a buffalo. I wish it wasn't so beat up. But, you know, it is uh, over, it is oh, almost 90 years old now. 88 years old, I think. Nice. That's an 88-year-old nickel in this roll. Very cool find. Well, well, well. It has been a while since... I have had this in a hunt, and that is two buffaloes in one box. It's been a while. We are on roll 32, it looks like, and it looks like right here we got a buffalo. Let's see. Let's take a look. Ooh, that's a 1935 buffalo. Has a date. It is pretty warm, but that is, oh, it's got a mint mark. San Francisco, 1935. Nice. I don't usually find mint marks, and they're usually not San Francisco. That's a nice find. That is two buffaloes. This one is not as scratched up and eaten up as the other one, but uh, it is still a nice buffalo find. Very awesome. Very awesome to find a 1935S. It was very awesome to find a San Francisco, <laughs> being that old. Nice. 36, and we have another... Old nickel. We got a 1947 here. This one, oh, the San Francisco. The San Francisco nickels are a little harder for me to come across, so that is pretty cool. 47, nice find. Well, it, well, well, roll 40. I don't believe it. We have a third buffalo here. Um, there's another coin back here that I want to check out, but we have a buffalo. There is no mint mark on the reverse of this one. Let's see. Oh, wow. That's a 26. Wow. 98 years old there. Holy cow. That's three buffaloes this hunt. Wow. I think the most buffaloes I've ever found in one box is three. So um, that if, if, if it wasn't three, it is now three. <laughs> very cool. Very cool. This box is turning out very nice. Um, where was it? It was this one here I wanted to check out. Let's take a quick look. 1953 out of San Francisco. Nice. I think the 1953 out of San Francisco has a lower mintage. I'm not sure. Don't quote me on that. But nice. Nice finds. Three buffaloes. Very cool. Roll number 43. About halfway through. Come across a 1946 here. Let's take a look. 1946. This one is out of Philadelphia. Nice. That's another old nickel to go up here. Roll 44 and hit a 1954 here. This one is in pretty good shape for what it is. This one is a Denver. Very cool. It's another nickel to go up on these stacks somewhere. <laughs> Roll 47. We've got another nickel with that older look to it. I figure let's flip it over. It does not have a mint mark, so it may not be old, may just be worn. But let's take a look. Hey, 1947. All right. Nice. Roll 48. We got a pretty worn 1939 here. Let's take a look. This one is a Philadelphia. Cool. This is pretty slick on the back. That one looks like it's been worn, rubbed down by something. Nice. That's another old nickel for the stacks. Roll 49, 
And we've got a couple here that may be older, I wanted to check out. First up, I'll come across this one on the end. It is a Denver 1954. Very cool, that's one. And then a few coins back, this one had an older look. 1952, nice. That one is a Philadelphia. Nice, nice. Yeah, there was a couple in here that had the older look to it. I think that one's just dirty. Um, let's see. Let me move them on camera here. Um, this one here had an older look. Let's take a look. 1939. Another Philadelphia. Nice. That's our third 39, actually. Um, I thought there was another one, but maybe I've gone past it already. Um, that was 76, I think. Okay, nice. Three finds, a 52, a 54, and a 39. Very nice. Second to the last roll, we got one left. Well, hopefully, there'll be something else in that one. What an awesome box this was. Um, awesome finds. Didn't hit anything in that last roll, so it's wrap-up time. Um, three buffaloes. That is my record for um, buffalo finds in a single box. Um, it's been a while since I've hit one buffalo, and it's been a long while since I've hit more than one, but three buffaloes, all with dates, and a 29, a 35S, very cool, very cool finds. They're a little beat up, a little worse for wear, but still awesome to find some buffaloes. Um, going through here, we had three 39s, and then a nine from the 40s, and 12 from the 50s. Um, I didn't find any Ayers varieties on any of these coins, so nothing there, but still, buffaloes are awesome to find. All right, I've got some coins to check against the album. I do have a stack of really nice, there was those, uh, 23s and 21s in here, Denver and Philly. Seems like someone went through some rolls and dumped some rolls, or there's some just new coins in there, so I got a stack of those on the go through and see if those will upgrade the albums. Check for these. Check my personal Buffalo album, see if any of those fit in. Um, so I might throw that in there at the end if you're interested. And uh, we'll check the albums out for the Jeffersons and see what, if any, upgrades we got going there. For book number one, 38 through 61, there were no filter upgrades. Though nickels I did find were worse than the ones that are already in here, so nothing to upgrade there. For book number two, 62 to 95, we had no fields or upgrades for here as well. For book number three here, we're gonna start out with this 2023 out of Philly. Just a much cleaner example than the one that's in there. The one that's in there has a lot of surface little things and stuff on it. This one is just a cleaner example. And uh, 2000s to 2015, I have a hard time finding them pretty clean. So I think we're gonna switch that one out and then probably not switch it out again because I don't want to <laughs> stretch out the holes here. And getting into these super nice ones here, it's gonna be kinda hard to get a nice clean shot of these on the camera because the camera just picks up so much little detail from the reflectiveness. But these, uh, I've got four here that are gonna be replacing some, oh, some decent ones. And these are probably going to be ones that are never going to be upgraded because they are so nice. Um, this 2021 Philadelphia, just much better than the one that's in there. Um, that one's probably the closest one here. And here's the 21 out of Denver. Look at that one. It does have a little bit of a fingerprint on it, unfortunately. But otherwise, the surfaces are clean. Very few scratching. Very few scratches of any. On both sides too and I believe all of these have like full steps so that is nice definitely upgrade and then we got the 23 Philadelphia and Denver not the greatest but look at those those just pop um, these are the best of the bunch I have here so those are gonna get upgraded and probably never upgraded again because these are so nice that is it for book number three so there we have it for our three albums, we ended up with uh, five upgrades all in the last album there. Um, and if you would like to keep score from my buffaloes, I'm not actively collecting these, but I have a folder to just plug in ones that I do come across and find. 
Um, I'm always looking for good coins out of my collection, but all the ones that we found today, I have better ones in here. So nothing for the Buffalo Nickels. Um, that way you don't have to wait on that to check on that. Um, all right, so yeah, it was a fun hunt. Three Buffaloes in a hunt is awesome. Great, great finds. Lots of lots of good old nickels there, and a fun hunt overall, and some awesome late date additions or upgrades for our album as well. All right, well, I do hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, hit that thumbs up, helps me out, and drop a comment, let me know. Um, and uh, if you would put down below, if you if you hunt for nickels and stuff, let me know how many buffaloes you found in a box. I'd love to love to hear your uh, records of nickel finds there. All right. Thank you very much for watching, everyone. Have a great day. And I want to give a very special thank you to all the viewers who have signed up as members. Thank you very much for going above and beyond to help support the channel. I very, very much appreciate it. If anyone is interested in becoming a member, feel free to check out the link below. Again, thank you very much for your support. Well, I do hope you enjoyed the video. If you click on that link right there, it'll help me out. And then I have a couple videos over here that is recommended. So if you would like to watch another one, I would definitely appreciate it. Thank you very much for watching, everyone. Have a great day.